Hey YouTube, this is Rochelle, aka Shelly Witz. I am here on my 12th day of juice fasting. And um I'm doing pretty good. I'm doing pretty good if I may say so myself. I've uh tried some diets in the past and I've tried to I've made attempts at changing my life in the past and I must say that this is the best that I've done. Um and I think that's more so because I've left my mind and my heart open to see um, really what God is trying to show me through this. And um, that's not to say that I've been perfect this entire time, because I am very open in the sen in this instance. I want to be open enough so that people know that um, you don't have to be perfect. You don't have to be perfect every single moment of this the point is that you're trying every single day and that's not to say that you go easy on yourself and every day you wake up and say okay well I had a cheeseburger yesterday so I guess I can have one today because I don't have to be perfect no that's not what I'm saying but what I am saying is if you do slip up and if you do fall you can't be so hard on yourself that you discourage yourself from continuing so that's what I've done um this entire time is if I have slipped up or if I have made a mistake I've kept my focus to the point that I'm just, I, I'm focusing on the goal, the ultimate goal and the, the purpose of this. From the beginning, my original goal, if you go back to my first video, um, was to heal my body because I uh, had injured both of my legs and um, I was laying down and I couldn't like get around the way that I wanted to. And that was, it's a shame that God had to, you know, put me in that position for me to like you know realize what he was trying to explain to me that I needed to do for a while like no lie y'all a long time ago God told me that I needed to fast but you know fasting ain't easy I'm gonna put it that way <laughs> fasting is not easy but nevertheless um I've been doing okay in the midst of it I changed it because I'm trying to be as realistic as I possibly can with myself and I'm coming from a place where I have a lot I have a lot of bad habits that I have to cleanse from. So I'm trying to go step by step instead of doing it overwhelming in an overwhelming way, like just cutting off absolutely everything. I'm trying to do step by step um, and, and trying to be a little bit sensible about it. So it's more so like a cleanse than it is a fast because I'm still I'm still juicing. Like I just finished off my juice. I was planning on saving some of it for the video, but then internet went out for a while so I drank it and uh, now I don't have it to show to y'all but I have a whole system anyway I, I should have just brought my water bottles and all that stuff in but I have a whole system I went out and I went out with focus and with purpose and everything right so I got my bottles that I needed I have a 64 ounce bottle that I put my water in every day and I drink two of those at least and if not more I drink like water bottles in between the cups of water and glass of water to try and keep flushing I'm in the bathroom like 12 times a day no lie like 12 times a day I don't know if anybody else says that on here but I'm saying it I stop my mom hates it like during the day when we're out and about I literally try to like drink the water a certain amount of water in time increments so <laughs> so that I can go to the bathroom all at once and we don't have to stop because the for like the first four days that I was doing this I literally stopped to the bathroom like 12 to 13 times during the day. That's not to say first thing in the morning we wake up or right before you go to bed, not including that, just throughout the day. I was going like 12 and 13 times. It's crazy, but it makes sense because I'm drinking a lot of water. Um, but anyway, I'm still doing the juicing. I also changed the plan on what juices that I was going to juice because of money, just being real. Uh, we don't have like a cheap organic store around here and we haven't made our way to the farmers market there's only one farmers market here in Atlantic City and it's small right now it used to be big I don't know what happened it used to be really big but now it's like three or four stands out there so it's not very much of a variety in order for us to get like a, a huge quantity of um, like wholesale organic stuff we would have to go somewhere else we plan on joining an organic, like, a CSA, you know, like, look up what a CSA is. But we plan on joining one. Um, 
we just keep procrastinating on it. So until then, we're going to shop right. And instead of doing multiple juices in a smoothie, I'm just doing green juice. And um, if you ever saw the movie Fat, Sick, and Nearly Dead, or if you look it up on YouTube, you can see what green juice I'm talking about. The nickname for it would be Mean Green, so Google Mean Green Juice. Then you'll see what it is that I'm drinking. But um, it's really cleansing, and when I say cleansing, I don't just mean, like, it cleans out all your tissues and all that stuff, but I mean, like, just, like, like x Like <laughs> It's cleansing like that. Like, <laughs> you go to the bathroom. A lot, um, but it's it's a it's a great thing. Um, so I was doing really good for the first couple of days as far as just doing straight juice, but because, like I said, with money, I can't do like 96 ounces worth of juice every day because literally it takes a lot of vegetables in order to make that much juice every day. And I'm not the only one on this fast. My mom jumped on board when I when I really set my mind to it and I told her like this is the day that I want to go shopping. This is what I want to do. I wrote out the list and absolutely everything like that. She jumped on board. She was really supportive. And my dad even made his own separate diet plan to be really supportive. So it's really good because I have a this is this is what we've needed for a really long time because the house is like a safe place. Like literally for what I need to eat and what I need to drink, it's here all the time. Like, no sodas, no chimichangas, none of that. The house is the safe place. If I fall and, and eat some chicken wings out in the street, that may be the case. But when I come home, I know that I don't have that option. I don't have any cookies that are hidden somewhere that I'm going to be surprised with attempted by or anything like that, which is awesome. Anyway, so because it's two people on the Juice Fest, and we still have to buy food for my dad, too, um, we're just doing two juices a day. So 64 ounces instead of 96 ounces, right? So I was doing good juice in the beginning, just juice, right? But then I started having the hunger um, pains and, uh, you know, regular food cravings. And so I fell here and there. Um, and that kind of threw me off a couple times. And then when the electric went out, because you guys know we had the storm come through the East Coast and everything, right? So the electric went out and I really don't have I, – I can't use that as an excuse because my electric was, was on for the majority of it. It was off for a couple hours and then came back on, um, and I thank God for that. Um, but during that, I guess I got bored and used it as an excuse, so I fell during that too. But nevertheless, um, I've gotten a little bit smarter now because I've realized what my triggers are. So – that, that was a good thing that I've learned over these past, because it's almost two weeks now, it's day 12. So over these past two weeks, I've learned exactly what my triggers are, and I know when to, to keep juice with me. I know when to keep water with me. I know what to do when I go into a store, what to grab now. Like if I really, really have a craving really bad, like a light craving, I'll go grab a pack of gum and just chew on some gum if I just need, like, the feeling of chewing. A really, really bad craving, like when it's to the point where, like, Sometimes my dad, like, maybe he wants a break because he's doing really well. Like, he's losing weight like it's air. Like, he's just breathing off the weight, right? So he can have, like, a cheeseburger, and because he works really hard and drinks a lot of water, it just flushes off of him. So if he's sitting there next to me having a cheeseburger, I'm going to, like, order pickles. And that may sound weird, but, like, I'll order, like, pickles or, like, um, even on – on some of the days when it was really bad, I'll tell my mom to take me to Burger King. And this might not be, like, the perfect option, but it's better than getting, like, a cheesesteak. So I'll get a veggie burger with, like, none of the condiments on it and just lettuce and tomato. And then put it on top of a garden salad and just don't eat the, the, uh, the salad dressing. Or if I do have to get a salad dressing, then I'll get balsamic. Like, sometimes, you know, when you absolutely have cravings for food, if you just need the feeling of eating, make make your choice. If you're going to go off of it, make your choice your best choice. That's what I've learned. Like, if, if I have to deviate from it, I'm going to make my choice my best choice. If I have to have some type of meat, I'm going to get a baked fish. You know what I mean? Like, I'm going to absolutely make my best choice. If I have to have some type of carb, if I need it to be, like, some type of carb, I'm going to get some brown rice. Like, I'm going to try my best to make my choices my best choices, right? Um, so because I was having so many slip-ups, I, I altered my plan. And this is just for me. This is my journey, and this is what I'm doing. So um, I like fruit juice. 
And it seems that we found a produce outlet that we can get fruit really cheap. Now, some of the vegetables are cheap and then some of them aren't, but um, the fruit is cheap. So I like fruit juice. And particularly I, over a, a diet that I did a while ago, the HCG diet, I uh, acquired a love for grapefruits, which is strange because I grew up eating them. But now I love grapefruits. So I drink grapefruit juice first thing in the morning. It's... Um, Awesome for me to start off the morning. It like wakes me up, which is really important because I'm like a hard sleeper and I don't want to wake up in the morning. But I have my grapefruit juice, right? And then I'll make my green juice, right? So by by like nine, ten o'clock, I'm getting in my green juice, and then I drink green juice and water up until about I'd say at least three o'clock. Okay, at least three o'clock till about. Five o'clock. I'll, I'll work that out. That's about my first green juice. Now, if I um, don't feel like eating, then I'll have my second green juice, and then I'll be done around eight o'clock. But if I do like, you know, after everybody else has had like three meals during the day, and you're hanging out with everybody else having three meals during the day, sometimes you get hungry. And I'm just being real. So at the end of the night, I got myself like some bowls to set up some meals and stuff, and I have. Um, a cup of vegetables, either cooked or uncooked, like whether it's like a salad or whether it's string beans. Like right now in the fridge, I have two bowls of uh, string beans and two bowls of um, zucchini, like cooked with just salt and pepper and um, like not much, a little bit of olive oil and um, some onions and peppers and some tomatoes. And then I'm going to add uh, a small, like, one and a half ounce, two ounce pizza of salmon to go with that. And that's it. Like, no carb. Um, just, to, just to have something that I can say I had a meal. Um, and it's still better. Let me tell y'all, before this, y'all don't know how I was eating. And it, it really got to a point where I was going to McDonald's, like, every other day. And I had never been like that in my life. But... Nevertheless, I had I had developed some really bad habits, and then on top of what I was going through in my life, I really had uh, I really had put myself in a bad place. But now, now I have a plan, and I feel better that I have a plan that I can stick to, and that I'm happy with, and that I'm doing well with. Like I feel great. So, I guess you guys would like to know. It's hot in here. I don't know why the air conditioner is not working. Maybe I didn't cut it off. Maybe I should check that. I'm going to do that once I cut this off. Okay. Um, I guess you want to know if I've lost any weight so far. Um, I lost like six pounds, six or eight pounds or something, which is not bad for 12 days. Not bad. My mom lost 12 pounds for 12 days. But first off, I'd like to say her metabolism is faster than mine because she works out way harder than me because she started like three years earlier than I did being consistent. Like we both worked out our whole lives, but inconsistently. She started being consistent about three years ago, two, three years ago, two years ago, three years ago, something like that. And now it's like a part of her lifestyle. I'm trying to get to that point of consistency and like really make it a part of everyday life just to work out. So anyway, that's part of the reason. And then another reason, she's a little bit better with sticking to just juice. So I'd say if I've fallen like 12 times throughout these 12 days, she's fallen like six times throughout the 12 days. So that's why, uh, that's also a reason that um, she's lost more weight than me. Not that it matters because we're all losing weight and we're all feeling great. I feel awesome, y'all. My, my legs feel a little bit better. My legs feel a little bit better. Not a little bit better, a lot better, because before I was I was limping like, you know, like a 78-year-old man or something, and now they feel a lot better. They're not completely there yet, but I'm trying to work out consistently, and I've been doing pretty good for the last week. I've been working out every day, and I'm not trying to kill myself anymore. Before I had, like, this plan, I was going to go in and walk on the treadmill for an hour and then get on the elliptical for an hour and then do an hour worth of weightlifting, and, like, I don't know what I was thinking about... You know, I just go in and do like 20 minutes on, on the elliptical, and then I go and I do some, uh, what's it called? What's it called? Resistance training. Resistance training. 
high intensity stuff. And then I bring my tail back upstairs and get in the shower and relax. Um. So that's it. Oh. Also, I learned to help my cravings. Tip about cravings. If you ever decide to do a juice fast, or you ever decide to go on a diet or anything, anything that has to do with eating healthier. Tip for helping with cravings for bad food. Eating fruit. This is a nectarine. I was about to say a peach, but this ain't a peach. This is a nectarine. And it's very good. Very right. <clears throat> Sorry. So, um, yeah, really good. And, um, keep up on your fruits. Helps you out. Sorry, it just made me happy. <laughs> Alright. Lord, I didn't talk for that long. If y'all listen to this, I really do appreciate it. I really do appreciate it. I hope I said something that was helpful, because I know I've been rambling. Really? I just got mad at myself for that. Well, anyway, um... So I'm doing good. I'm doing great. Continue with the comments and the messages and everything. Hit me up on Facebook, Twitter, all that stuff. I am I'm gonna keep focused on this and hopefully maybe two weeks from now I can do straight juice. Maybe if maybe because I'm actually do easing myself into it, I can do straight juice. So, um let's pray about that. And uh Y'all stay encouraged. Okay, now I got all these pop-ups. All right, bye. <laughs> Love you, YouTube. Bye.